So in this video, we're going to light the low poly landscape and make a sunset type lighting environment. So first of all, we're going to switch to cycles. I'm going to change the device to GPU compute instead of CPU. Now, if you got a decent graphics card, it's likely going to be faster for you. Now to do this, you need to go to preferences and under system, make sure that you choose CUDA if you got a NVIDIA card and OpenCL if you got an AMD card. Now, because we're going to be using cycles, this video is likely going to be a little bit laggy. Hopefully it doesn't get too bad though. I'm going to go to light paths and I'm going to quickly just lower this from 12 to two. This is going to be to make our preview rendering a bit faster, but it's best to turn that back up a bit to like at least maybe four or six or something before you do your final render. Now, if I hit zero, you'll see that I set up a camera. I basically just moved it to a spot that I liked and I went and played with the focal length to try to get the perspective and the amount that I see the amount that I wanted. So I had a focal length of 24. So the focal length is basically just like what viewing angle you can see based off the lens. So it's the same thing as like field of view. If you make it too low, you're going to get a ton of warping. If you make it too high, then you're going to be like way zoomed in. So I found 24 worked decently for this scene. And I believe that's a pretty popular choice for photographers too. So now, first of all, I'm going to go take our lamp that's already in the scene. And I'm just going to change it from point to sun lamp. And what a sun lamp is, is it basically just makes light all come from this one direction that's pointing in with this little line. The sun is actually a point light that's very far away, but because it's so far away, it will act more like a single direction once it gets to the earth. So you might as well just use a directional light. It does a good job of simulating the sun like that. Now my son's over there, so I'm going to quickly hit R and Z and I'm going to try to get it to somewhat match up with my son's rotation. So I might just hit R and try to match the angle a bit and that should hopefully be pretty close. Now if I hit Z and go to rendered, you'll see that everything is really, really dark and that's because our sky is actually casting a shadow onto the world. So we're going to want to click on our sky. Then we're going to go to the little object square guy here. Under cycle settings, we're going to go and click shadow and turn it off. And now if we render, now you can see that the sky isn't creating a giant shadow over the entire world. I'm going to go hit zero to get to our camera view. Now I selected my light and I might want to go to my light settings. And I'm going to go and just try to maybe make it a little bit of a reddish orange, a little bit less. Just give it a slight reddish orange tint. Now I think the sun looks a little small, so I'm going to scale that up. And then I'm going to go to the material and it's too yellow for a sunset. So I'm also going to make it more reddish, maybe a bit more. Now I might select my lap again, go back to rendered, click the color and under value, I might make it up more to make it brighter. Now this is obviously too bright. So I might go with something more like 1.2 and that might look good to me. So I'm going to hit Z, look dev, and then I can go ahead and I can go to my render settings. Maybe increase the samples for my render if I want. And I might go to the light paths and I might go and change the total from two back up to maybe something like six. And then I can just hit F12 and wait a bit for it to render. And now that I waited a bit, we got a final render. So I can go and hit image and then I can save it. And now we have a nice sunset scene. This was Mr. Tripie and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, and watch some other videos on my channel to help my channel grow. Thank you.